Okay, friends, now it is time to start our Dhamma sermon. We are in Dhammapada, stanza number 182. Kicho manusa patila bo kichang machana jivitam. Kichang saddhamma savanang kicho buddhanang upadu. Brief meaning of this stanza is. Rhea is a birth as a human being. Hard is the life of morale. Hard is the hearing of the sublime truth. Rhea is the appearance of the Buddhas. In here, in this stanza, mentioning very few, uh, very important few things. One is Rhea is birth as a human being. Do you experience in is true? Rhea is a birth as a human being. Do you believe? Do you ready to accept this sentences? The declared by the Buddha. What do you think about this word? How we can say? Kicho manusya patilabhu. Rhea is birth as a human being. How we can accept this? Think about the, around the world. The word that Buddha used, sabbe satta. Sabbe satta. All living beings. All living beings means not just human beings. There are so many different kind of beings are. According to the Buddhist explanation, human world and consider as a high level realm. There are four hell which we consider as a low level realm. Naraka, Tirisam, Preta, Asura. Naraka, Tirisam, Preta, Asura. Among these low level realm, Tirisam you can experience, you know Tirisam world. All living beings, all animals are animals, insects, belongs to that world. Just think about all these Insect, tiny, tiny uh, living beings. Sometimes, perhaps, might be in the U.S. You know, as you know, nearly 350 million human beings are here. 350 million. In one ant hill, there might be more than. One billion ants, just one, might be. It depend on the uh, uh, limits and the space and the area, how long that one is keeping. All depending on all this. So, comparing with these animal worlds, including the creatures and the human world, how we are small. Our population is very, very small compared with just one world in low level realm, Tirisan world, animal worlds. And other worlds are, there are four low level realms Naraka, Tirisan, Preta, Suri. And Preta world has eight separate. Uh, places or categories in Preta world. No one, no one can count how is the population is there because we don't have that any measurements that we can use to measure uh, beans, how many beans are there to get to know it is impossible. And sometimes 
uh, biologists are not ready to accept that explanation but biology is comparing with the buddha's teaching is in the primary level the buddha's teaching is very uh, talking about the vast uh, expanded areas because the buddha was a uh, sabbanyu new all sabbanyu means new all everything with the new so using his unlimited mind capacity he, he had explained there are six celestial worlds there are 16 brahma worlds and four suddha vasa brahma world superior brahma worlds four all these together including with human world there are 31 realm just only this galaxy in this galaxy where we are so this kind of thousands and thousands galaxies are there in the universe these are not my words these are the words of the buddha so now you can see what what kind of things that buddha meant in here kicho manussa patilabo to become a human is very rare is very rare because in this universe there are so many other living beings than human beings therefore it is very rare thing what kind of logic you use it does not matter you can understand human beings are very limited countable and to become human is very rare things that you can understand through that these experiences not only that kichang machana jivitam now as you know in this world there are 6 billion point five something uh, human beings in this world all over the world among those 6 billions how many of them can live as human beings this is very tricky things that you should open your mind to see the nature of human human beings according to the buddha's explanation not can recognize just looking at outside appearance looking at head hands legs and who has ability to walk who has who is free from their hands this is the way how we can recognize human sap human sapien sapiens but humanity is different things human is different than humanity humanity means you should have human qualities if you have a human figure human body but if you don't have human qualities then the buddha not consider you as a human beings that's why in here kichang machana jivitam kichang machana jivitam hard is the life of moral morals means uh, with hu uh, human qualities what are the qualities there are basic qualities we can categorize into four loving kindness compassion sympathetic joy and equanimity these are the qualities that you can see through the human beings if there is lack of loving kindness then you are considering that person ah uh, what kind of person is he does not have any humanity human qualities you have that experience in in your life if that person is not compassion then you ready to say he is like a animal he does not have any human qualities just we have this general experience living in the society therefore living as a human being is very hard things in this world even though we born in this human world it is not easy to live with human qualities 
That's why around the world now you can see what is happening among the human beings. Since our ancestors' time period, it's been maybe thousand, two thousand years. What is happening in this human world? Fighting, biting, fighting, arguing, and firing here and there, burning each and others. How many disasters was there created by human beings in this world? Why? They lost their human qualities. When someone lose human qualities, then that person would be completely unhumanistic living being, even though look like human being. Therefore, friends, to live as a human being is not easy thing. It is very difficult things. To live as a human being, seal moral. Respecting natural law is very important quality. Respecting natural law. What are the natural laws? If you are killing, engaging with this activity, killing, killing some any other living beings, you are go you are going against natural law. Why? Take you as an example. Are you are you ready to accept anyone if someone try to kill you? Are you welcome them? No. You are not ready to welcome anyone if someone try to kill you, hurt you. You don't like. If you don't like if someone try to kill or hurt you, then how would others like to get that kind of same feeling from you? This is the way how we should think as human beings. Now you can see human beings as human beings. You have thinking ability, but most of the living beings in most of the humans are in this world not thinking about that. They don't compare with yourself. That's why. How many beings are killed per day by human beings? How many living beings? Just think about chickens. How many chickens die by human beings in one day? How many pigs? How many cows? How many other creatures? In some countries, some cultures. If they met any kind of creatures, they're ready to kill. They're ready to kill. They don't have any common sense. Oh, they are also living beings. They also live same as us. They also like to live same as us. They don't have that common sense in their mind. That's why they do that kind of harmful, hurting things to others, killing and hurting other living beings because they don't have human quality. Human ability is very important. Thinking ability is human ability. If you are not able to think deeply and widely, then the Buddha is not ready to consider you as a human being. Physically, yes, you are, but mentally, you don't have human quality. If you don't have human quality, then you can. The Buddha is not ready to recognize you as a human being. Why? Humanity is the most important thing in human life. If you don't have that quality, humanity with you, then how someone can consider you as a human being? You perhaps you might have some kind of language to communicate with others. You can go here and there. You can walk, but if you don't have quality, likewise morale. If you don't, uh, if you are not respecting to the universal law, then there is no any other evidence need to consider you as a human being or not. So killing is stealing, misconducting with sensual pleasure, pleasure, lying, and using drugs and alcohol. All these are. Very important to recognize whether you are human or not. 
human or not think about around the world how many of them can live this kind of lifestyle this kind of means with human qualities developing compassion sympathetic joy loving friendliness compassion uh, equanimity how many of them can do that how many of them have therefore living as a human being is very hard and also very rare thing kicham machan jivita it is very difficult because we have undeveloped mind and also we don't have good quality friends with us whatever things we it's come through your ears eyes nose tongue and the body all those things are driving into us in wrong wrong direction do some kind of harmful things to ourselves and others is the nature is the nature of undeveloped mind is the nature of unhumanistic person and what is the other one kicham sat dhamma savana listen to dhamma universal truth sublime truth is very rare thing it is also very rare thing even though today you can hear so many talks saddhamma means saddhamma should be based on these three things impermanent suffering and selflessness saddhamma and also it should be depending on four noble truths and it should be depending on depending origination patisha sampada and it should be depending on noble eight pole path if there is some talks or lectures series of lectures which is not depending on these things those are just a talk entertainment talk talks not not the sublime truth sublime truth should be truth for every and each living beings in this world not just even human beings it is not something to particular into one group of people or one particular country it should be for all living beings this is the nature of sadhamma then as we know sadhamma is it should be four noble truths it should be depending on origination it should be noble eight pole path and three lakshana three uh, 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 three characteristics of the nature these are the teachings of the buddha these are we consider as a sublime truth it is very rare to listen to sublime truth when you turn on your tv is there any opportunity to listen to any of these teachings these teachings means not directly from monks or any other buddhist followers universal just think about the scholars lectures professors teachers and leaders of the countries leaders of the society can you hear any of dhamma from don't think about don't just think about the buddha's teaching for noble truth is for noble truth it is universal noble eight pole path is it is universal regarding any of these things is there any chance to listen from any of those talks that you can hear when you turn on your tv or radio no and to listen to sublime truth you have to search it and you have to find it even though sometimes name of the dhamma name of the sublime truth there are so many talks but which is not we can consider as sublime truth because it might be given that lecture given by the monk but if that lecture is not considered for noble truth noble eight pole path that depend in origination no three characteristics then that lecture is not considered no, we not supposed to consider as dhamma sublime truth it is just a lecture therefore to listen to for noble truth 
to listen to three characteristics, the reality of the things. Noble Eightfold Path, all these teachings are very rare to listen. Rare is the appearance of the Buddhas. Appearance of Buddha is very, very rare things. It's not happening in the world, as you know. Years and years we have to wait to see the Buddha. Years and years we have to wait to see the Buddha. It's the nature. The Buddha that we talking today, Sakyamuni Gautama Buddha, who passed away 2,600 years ago. But still his teaching is alive. Therefore, we can see the Buddha through the Dhamma. That this advice given by the Buddha, this advice is not given by someone else. This advice given by the Buddha, yo dhammang passati so mam passati. Try to see Dhamma, then you can see the Buddha. What does it mean? If you want to recognize someone, you can recognize that person through his teachings or through his behavior. If, if that person had given some lectures or talks. So the Buddha spent 45 years. He had been uh, delivering at least five sermons per day. 84,000 sermons are there in Tripitaka. So all through these, all these discourses, deliverance, we can see the Buddha. We can see the Buddha. But appearance of Buddha is very rare things in this world. In this whole year of time period, we can we, we, we have met only one Buddha. But the Buddha who was already the Buddha mentioned there, there were so many Buddhas, but namely we have 28 Buddhas. All these Buddhas had been delivering one thing, that is universal truth. Four noble truth is four noble truth. Whether it delivered by Sakyamuni Buddha or whether it delivered by uh, Kashyapa Buddha, Tanankara Buddha, Tissa Buddha, it does not matter. Even future Buddha, Maitreya, it does not matter. Four noble truth is four noble truth. Noble eight pole path is noble eight pole path. There is no second noble eight pole path. Therefore, we are lucky. We are living in this world where the Buddha's teaching is existing. This is very important because still we have opportunity to meet the Buddha through the Dhamma, the teachings of the Buddha. Therefore, dear friends, this is wonderful opportunity. We're not supposed to miss this opportunity. We had born as human being and all our faculties are working well. We are no stun and our mind. All the faculties are working well. We can understand something. We can hear clearly. We can read books. So we have that fortune with us. We born in this human world with this fortune. And also, we got opportunity to listen to rare, sublime truth. Very rare thing, very, very rare thing is listening to sublime truth. Now we have that opportunity. We are fortunate to listen to Dhamma. And also we got opportunity to associate Kalyana with the good friends who are helping to realize Four Noble Truth. Who are helping to realize Four Noble Truth. We have that Kalyana Mitta also. And we can see the Buddha through the Dhamma. We have that opportunity also in this manner, dear friends. Now we can understand how fortunate we are. So we are not supposed to miss this opportunity spending time for other things. Therefore, develop your sraddha, confidence to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. 
and believe not blindly open your mind with your wisdom believe this sayings by the buddha kichu manusya patilabo to become to to be, to have a birth as human being is very rare believe it you have confidence in that therefore if we miss this human life without developing humanity human qualities we don't know how would be the next life even though we are cultivating humanity but if we are not establish our mind in right direction we might be in trouble the the spins are delivered by the buddha during the time period when buddha was living in savatthi there was a naga king the name of naga king was eraka patt eraka patt eraka patt appears eraka patt has a ability to appear as a human beings eraka patt is not belong to this human world eraka patt was in naga world so one day he was able to appear the buddha in front of the buddha to listen to dhamma he really he badly wanted to meet the buddha but unfortunately he get, he did not get that chance one day there was a person uttara name uttara eraka patt had a daughter that daughter was very pretty and beautiful and very talented girl coming from naga world appear in the human world as a human princess she was asking question from others if someone was able uh, is able to answer the question then they can marry this beautiful girl few times appear in human world no one was able to answer the question but there was a, a prince uttara he was planning to answer those question and then he was on the way he met the buddha and then buddha knew he is talented person who can answer all these question buddha taught him everything and then when the buddha was giving dhamma sermon to that person uttara he attained sotapanna but buddha guided him to go to see that uh, uh uh nanga princess and buddha guide him to answer the questions that she going to ask so he did that when he was answering all the questions there there were so many people around surrounded there they were able to attain enlightenment particularly say to travel but eraka patta was not able to attain any kind of sainthood level then eraka patta said to the buddha in front of the buddha declared venerable sir i am so unlucky why i am not able to attain any sainthood level i was a meditator i was a meditator in now in pre, in a previous life millions years ago i was a meditator i was meditating in the forest and meditating in one of previous buddha's time period one day i had to cross a river using a raft i was getting to that river uh, getting to that raft holding a branch of tree when the person is start to move the raft 
that leaf came from the tree to my hand i was so upset with that i was no i was not able to confess him confess for that so he died with that guilty feeling guilty mind as a result of that he born in nagaloka he practiced meditation but that meditation was not useful to have his next life better life in his next life because he had that guilty feeling in his mind very strongly that is that it's happened because of his foolishness because of his avijja ignorance he was not able to manage his feelings confession particularly himself that's why it's happened to him then he died and then he born in that world and the buddha declared even though that naga is not able to realize the truth in this eons eons of sakya muni buddha's time length because still that naga is living in naga world so in this particular opportunity using this particular opportunity the buddha said kicho manussa patilabo to become hum to get a human life is not easy but that person went to that animal world within very small things within in few second done by very small things he did very small things it's not a big big big, big uh, strong harmful hurtful things to anyone just took some leaves he was not able to confession himself that is the reason so becoming a human is not easy but to go to hell very easy very easy kichu manushya patala kichcha machana jeevitam also living as a human being is very difficult things now you know you are living in this world as a human being how difficult is that you know that by experience kichan saddam savanang and listen to them is how difficult it's not easy is there is opportunity to listen to music and any other entertainments you don't know how long you spend there time is passed in very fast but you don't recognize it that much attraction is there within your mind you are attached to it but listen to them is not easy when you start to listen to them you are always how many time you are looking at the uh, looking at your clock when this dhamma sermon going to finish this is the nature so kichcha kichcha saddhamma savana listen to dhamma is not easy kichcho buddhanam uppado same as the buddha's appearance is very rare things in this world so dear friends understand in this universal truth let us practice dhamma to be a useful person in this human life we born to this human life we supposed to use this humanity to develop our humanity and to uplift our human qualities to finish this sansaric journey having that aspiration let us practice the dhamma let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of these merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of these merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and methods may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana 
having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may I never join with the police may I join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the higher realms of existence to the lowers may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much thank you bante thank you bante thank you bante.